Our next guest went from playing a cute little kid in a classic movie, Stand By Me, to his current job playing a detective in the medical examiner's office in the hit show, Crossing Jordan. Have a look. You think I'm lying? So give me a polygraph. I got trained like you, you'd be able to fool it. See, Danny, I got like a sixth sense for these sort of things. And that sixth sense is telling me three million in cash is a sweet bonus on a security guard's salary. Head of security. Whatever. And I'm around millions of dollars every day. How stupid would I look to kill a guy knowing that I'm going to be the prime suspect? Everybody looks stupid when they get caught. Ooh, Phil. Please welcome Jerry O'Connell. <laughs> Hey, Jerry, good to see you. Hi, Mom. How you doing? How are you? Good. Have a seat. How are you guys? Did you jump, everybody? Did, did you just say hi to your mom? Yeah, I always say hi to my mom oh, when good. I come on. Yeah. I mean, my mom's not in the audience, but she always watches. No, I'm glad she's hey, mom. I'm glad she's watching. That's all I care. Oh, do. she loves you, Tony. We all do. It's very exciting. Oh, Jerry, thank you very much. I mean, honestly, I like. I can. I can. I can win an Academy Award, and my mom, you know, this morning was like, you're doing Danza show? Oh, he's so <laughs> handsome. Tell him I said hello. Well, uh, my regards, by the way, my <laughs> regards. So you, it looks like you're enjoying the, doing this series so much. It's a lot of fun. I get to play a cop, you know? You get a badge, you get a gun. I talk to myself in the mirror with it. <laughs> you're under arrest. Freeze! <laughs> but, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's a little tricky. You, you do have to leave it at work. When I see people making illegal turns, I feel like pulling them over. And I'm like, wait a minute. You're an actor, dude. Relax. <laughs> so, you know, Jill was here. Uh, Jill Hennessy was yeah. here. And she, she loves working with you as well. I and love I, love, I love when you guys have that sexual uh, sort of <laughs> thing going on. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. But uh, she says that you like to take your shirt off a lot in the show. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm no like I'm not like a Chippendale guy. Well, I don't know. That's what she said. No, I mean they write those things for me. They're like, take your shirt off. You're the young guy in the show, you know. So you know you gotta you know watch what you eat and stuff. Well, that's the truth, Jerry. I've heard. I really. She said that you actually any chance you get, what, take off your shirt. What, you know? what am I like a male exotic dancer? Like yeah, get out of here. Actually, I know now it's actually, it's actually led to another uh, facet of your career. You're now, yes. a, you're now a model for uh, Perry Ellis, right? Yes, yeah, I for think. Perry Ellis. I did, uh, I'm doing their spring stuff. It'll come out in February, which is uh, a lot of fun. But we you have do, a photo here. There we go, you see? Now, but I, you, this is me basking in, the, basking in the sun. Yes, and I heard that you actually did the underwear ad as well. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, that was a little freaky because we had to shoot, we, we shot, that's in Central Park, so we shot all day outside and, uh, you know, I had to be in my underpants in the middle of Central Park and people are like looking over and I'm like, it's a modeling shoot, sorry. <laughs> and, you know, it's, you know, you, you gotta be just... careful too because you're wearing underpants and it was a little chilly that either. day, so I wasn't in my best light. <laughs> So, you know. You know what I love? I, I love that you said underpants twice. Yeah, yeah underpants. I do. I don't know. I think it's a New York thing. Yeah, we I think say underpants. underpants. Yeah. Well, underpants. I see London, I see France, I see Jerry's underpants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, no. It's better than I, I, I actually used to say underwears. Yeah. But uh, I had to change that. So here's your first. This, was this your first job? This is Stand By it. Me, obviously. Yeah. There I am. By the way, by the way, I heard you in the intro. I don't appreciate heavy set. Well, I was trying to Tony. be, you know, I, I was just trying, I was key, thick well, bone, uh, well, strong. Was, I was thinking, let make sure they knew who I was talking about <laughs> of the three chill of the three guys. No, I know? was, uh, I was pretty fat. I, yeah, I, I, I was. So like, what, I loved my candy. It was a great movie. It was. It was. It, it, it was really a lot of fun. And really did you, you enjoyed doing that? And, and it, this was. Was this really your first? Or had that you was. That was my first. I, um, they uh, came to my school. They read a few of us and. I went into the next audition, and I remember I brought the paper home to my mom, and I was like, look, I got an audition. And my mother was like, no, 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 this is a scam. I know this thing. <laughs> this is where they bring you in, they take money for photos, and then you, and then you, and then you never see it again. I know this. <laughs> and I was like, mom, I think it's legitimate. And she went in to see my principal the next day, uh, Mr. C, that's what we called him. And he was like, Linda, I think it's legitimate. You know, I mean, I saw him act, too. He's pretty good. He's pretty yeah, good. good. And, and uh, the one thing led to another, and, uh, and I got it. Oh, that's great. That's great. Now, you, you, you're not from here, but you came to school here. You went to NYU. No, I'm, right? I'm, I'm, I'm from Manhattan. I'm, I'm from Chelsea. I was born and raised on... Uh, oh. Yeah! All right. I got a ride home. I guess we're all sharing a cab. 
I'll thanks. see you on the bus. Thanks when the family shows up. Yeah. I know that, right? No, and then I went to NYU film school. Uh, you know, I kept it in the city. And um, a funny story about Stand By Me in film school. Um, you, w when you get there as a freshman, you have to take this class called Language of Film. And they teach you basically, like, it's like basic film 101. And um, they showed Stand By Me. And I'm sitting in class. And, oh, and, you're and, then, and my name came up. And all my friends are like, dude. Why did you say something? <laughs> I didn't know you were the fat kid from Stand By Me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, heavy set, heavy, heavy set. Husky. Big Easy bones. now. Big bones. <laughs> so you got, uh, you do any, what do you do in your spare time? What do, you, what do you got time for? Well, it's funny you ask that, Tony. Yes. I actually play a lot of ping pong. Oh, no kidding, because, yeah. uh, you know, I've been known to play a little bit. <laughs> That's yeah. what I heard. I also heard you're a pretty competitive guy. Well, I, you know, when, when the games are on, the games are on. Yeah. You know how it is. Um, I don't want to be rude, Tony. I think I can take you down. <laughs> okay. Well, well as oh, they oh, say. Oh, 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 oh. And I brought a little outfit for the occasion. <laughs> You're going down, Tony. You're going down. You're going down. You're going down. Bring it. Okay. Bring it. The challenge is Bring on. It. Next to see who the real ping pong champ is. He's going down. He's he going down. But he doesn't like to take his shirt off. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. We're back with Jerry O'Connell, and we're gonna see who can beat who when we play the ping pong playoff. If I win, the left side, you know, it's getting close to Christmas, folks. And so the left side of the audience is going to win. He just released Disney DVD, Mickey's Twice Upon ah. a Christmas. Left side. All right, if left Jerry side. wins, the right side gets it, okay? Ah. We're gonna play the These five. are my peeps. Now, here we go. These are my peeps. I just wanna say, I just wanna say, before we begin, I just want to say, before we begin, Tony, I want to thank you. I borrowed these from his Who's the Boss wardrobe closet. <laughs> That's a joke. Get over there. Let's All do right. this. You're going down. Hold on a sec. Got to pump it up, baby. Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm serving first. I'm serving first. Right side. Who my peeps? Who my peeps? Who my peeps? Here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Right yeah, over yeah. there. You ready? Oh. oh. Right back there. Oh! 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 Now I want to say, I want to say. I want you to know. I want to say. Sir. You're supposed to show the ball. You're supposed to do this. I'm hiding everything. Yeah. I got a whole bag of tricks. I just want to say the Boston Red Sox came back from 3 0. It's a possibility. Ah. It's a possibility. Okay, here it is. Bring it. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. no. Uh, 4 0. Yeah, you ready? 4 0. You ready for this stanza? Yeah. Oh, okay, 4-1, 4-1. Here we go. You guys got one. Oh. Woo. It's okay. You should. I got the serve. Oh, 4-3. Oh. It's tight. It's tight. All right. Tiebreaker. 4-4. Four, four. Over. Danza. Yeah. You're going down. All right. Come on, right side. Give me something. Give me Come something. On, Everybody's getting the DVD, by the way. Yeah! Okay, so, Jerry, thanks for doing it. Real pleasure, my pleasure. Crossing Jordan, NBC, Sunday nights. We'll be right it's back. It's freezing! Woo!